Well, let's see. Uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is June 13th of 2017, and it's uh, almost 1 p.m., and at 1.30, uh, the Senate is going to be questioning uh, the Attorney General Sessions. That may be interesting. Uh, last couple of days, maybe it started yesterday, there's been talk that uh, President Trump was going to, it says right here on CNN, Trump is considering firing Mueller. That's the special prosecutor that was appointed. And on the various news channel, people have been, you know, Republicans have been saying, uh, uh, yeah, he's thinking about it, but, uh, oh, well, no, he would never do that. And it's really just uh, crazy what's going on. Uh, <laughs> Richard Nixon ordered the attorney, his attorney general, to fire the special prosecutor who was investigating him and the Attorney General refused, and then Nixon said, you're fired. Then he ordered the Assistant Attorney General to fire the Special Prosecutor, and the Special Prosecutor said no, and Richard Nixon said, you know, you're fired, and then the next one in line went ahead and did it. But that was, that was unbelievable at the time, still talked about, uh, and you know, when the special prosecutor was appointed here, Mueller, I think I'm not pronouncing his name correct, but uh, everybody, Newt, everybody said, oh, man of character, man of honor, man of integrity, everything. And then in the last few days, Newt came out and attacked, attacked him, oh no, uh, totally reversed, you know, his position. And then other people who aren't going to, they're not going to say, no, he's not a man of, they're not going to say that he's isn't a man of integrity or whatever, but they're saying, well, he may need to, he need, you know, Trump may need to remove him because uh, he was in office and working at the same time back in the government when, because Mueller, I think, was uh, head of the FBI for I think 12 years and at that time uh, the Attorney General that just got fired call me, call me he was holding some position someplace in the government and uh, well, they know each other and uh, then they're saying some people are saying that Donald Trump was considering Mueller to replace call me and well, so there's a connection a connection there or whatever and it is just bizarre and for the first time I actually did a Google search uh, can a the President of the United States pardon himself and uh, no president has ever done that uh, but what I looked up was that uh, it, they do think that probably the President of the United States could pardon himself for federal crimes. The President can only, and I, I forgot, I for, had forgotten that, that when the President pardons, he can, he's pardoning for federal crimes. He can't pardon for state crimes. But, uh, man, I mean, I'm, I'm actually thinking, I think President Trump, I think the way he operates, the way he thinks, if you can call it thinking, is I could see that he's sitting back and maybe even talking to people, and my God, I hope he's not talking to his vice president about that. There again, that would be, could be conspiracy, I mean, you know, obstruction of justice, all types of things. If the poor vice president needs to isolate himself from President Trump, which would make President Trump's head explode, would make everybody else would just be, uh, it would just be something that hasn't happened in modern times. Back in ye olden days, uh, 
when we had an election, the president was one who got the most votes, and the one who got the second most uh, was the vice president. And back before they changed it, that way you ended up with, uh, well, like Abraham Lincoln, a Republican, and then the vice president, Johnson, was a Democrat, and then Abraham Lincoln was assassinated, and then Johnson, a Democrat, became president of the United States, and then the Republican Congress uh, impeached him, didn't remove him from office, but, in, you know, impeached him because of, so, but, so now we don't have that situation, we have the same party, Democrat, you know, or Republican, then the same, the vice president for the same person, so. But anyway, oh my God, I mean, the things that are uh, unthinkable are now thinkable. It's just really bizarre. I mean, it's an, un, uh, so I, we might see that. We may see that, uh, because apparent. I mean, not apparently, it's clear, you know, President Trump is trying to stop an investigation and that he's that he and the people around him are very concerned and you know with with president trump anyway we know the way he is that he uh he doesn't understand government and he's not used to anybody ever telling he doesn't you know he's not used to uh, anybody telling him what he can and can't do so this is an, an interesting situation. Here in about an hour or so, the Congressional Committee is going to be questioning session. What I was appalled uh, with was yesterday, President Trump held his cabinet meeting and he had the press come in and then, you know, usually the press steps, steps in, takes some pictures, that's it. I don't think ever has what happened yesterday. You know, Donald Trump said, had the cameras come in and then he said that he's all the, there must be like what, 12, 14, I don't know, you know, department heads there. And, and then he said, Donald Trump said, you know, speak. And it went around the table and they said, Donald Trump, you are God. Donald Trump, you can walk on water. Oh my God, we love you. <laughs> Went around the table. The only one, the Secretary of Defense, refused to take part in. And I guess he just, I didn't see that. I guess he just sat there or let it pass or whatever. But all the rest, can you imagine? Even if I were, oh man, I cannot imagine that. I, wow, that blows my, especially my mind. Because all my life, I mean, of course, I never had a job that paid 200000 a year or 250000 a year and plus ways to make extra money, write books and deals and bribery and that type of stuff. And I, but, oh, to kiss somebody's ass to, I, I've seen it, I have saw it happen, not in welding, not in being a border maker or building trucks or building railroad cars or whatever. But when I was working in hospital security. I I saw, I saw that, uh, and I was exact opposite of that. There's times when I should have just kept quiet, and I you know, so my God, if I were one of those cabinet members, of course I would never, never ever get into that kind of a position. I would never go to work for somebody like that. But if I was there, and I don't know how President Trump, you know, whether it was agreed beforehand, whether his chief of staff said, got together with all, okay, when you come in, the cameras are gonna come in, and then they, and I would have, I would have said, no, I, I'm not gonna be attending this, you know, and the, no, you have to, you know, you have to attend. No, I don't have to fucking, you know, or if it just came up that, that we were sitting there and then Donald Trump or the chief of staff said, in a minute the press is going to come in and you're going to go around and kiss, you know, 
tell uh, President Trump how great he is and kiss his ass, oh man, that would not have been pretty because when the press came in, I would have said, you know, Mr. President, I just want to let you know that you are a fucking stupid lying ass and you can take this job and you can shove it up your ass. I resign, kiss my ass, and I would have walked. I mean, <laughs> my God. But at least uh, the Secretary of Defense, uh, the only guy there that had balls. Oh, man. I'm watching the little rascals or whatever over on... See if I can... Oh, this is a... They have this camera here. There you go. That's on my uh, Uber television set. And it's... Uh, Pluto. It's a channel called Pluto. And these are... They have these different channels inside of that that you, you know that you can get. Best of Our Gang, this, this channel is Classic TV, Disorder in the Court, which I imagine the same thing. Uh, anyway, they have a bunch of, well, hang on a second, let me put this back up here. These monitors are different. The thickness of the, uh, this is on my other monitor. Well, that was on the uh, I really like the lighting with these windows behind me. Sometimes it's too bright, but this gives good lighting for video. Anyway, um, can't believe Dennis Rodman. Oh my God. Makes me sick to look at the guy. Has nothing to do with his race, by the way. Uh, he's in North Korea. And it, it, oh my God. What, this, what is the world? What is this? Uh, anyway, the, the uh, Crosby trial is over, so they're waiting for the jury to come up with a... Anyway, back to... Oh, let's see. Here it is. Pluto TV. See if I can drag this down. Whoops, whoops, whoops. It won't drag. Well, I guess I can enlarge it. See if that helps at all. Anyway, you have all these different channels. Now you have music, but I'm not interested. There's a whole bunch of music here. I'm doing. I know I'm doing it fast, but a uh, whole bunch of music here. But this is free, you know. By the way, and they have uh, actually have some stuff. I mean, they don't have. They do have news. What's this here? It starts new religions, defies the status quo. No idea, but... There I am, in living color. So, uh... I like the R Gang. Uh, I used to watch, well, of course, you've been a in the old days, there was, wasn't much you could watch. They'd be like on Sundays or something. I mean, it was they were repeat sin, of course. I'm not, I'm not that fucking old, but uh, used to like them. And uh, I guess they must run them here, so I may wa maybe re be rewatching them. I like to watch them now because you see. Uh, how people lived and whatever and I, I forget what I was watching one of them the other day and the um, racism wow really really strong in the thing can't remember what the what the situation was but uh, anyway back to So we're waiting for first woman to play in the NFL.
I guess apparently the uh, Huffington Post is saying that the Congress now is cutting down on access of the press in the uh, congressional building or hallways or something. Uh, we know it's because of, you know, but and, but I don't have a problem. I don't have a problem with it. I mean, we know it's because, uh, but I think it's, you know, let the congressmen go between their meetings, committee meetings and their offices and stuff and not have a microphone uh, shoved in their face in the hallway or whatever. I don't have, but we know things are really, I wonder what uh, the right wing site is saying. Redstate.com. Uh, let's see. Trump pal forced to admit he never talked to Trump about firing Mueller. But I, I still think because at the same time, other like Newt and others in the uh, thing all of a sudden went from Mueller being a man of you know highest integrity and great or whatever to oh no no he's no good he's a problem so and I think this is uh, Donald Trump made a spectacle of his narcissism and it was nauseating I, that's got to be the cabinet member thing uh, yeah, it is. Then I keep in mind this is a right wing uh, site. It was supposed to be a regular cabinet meeting. Instead, it turned into one of the most bizarre spectacles some have ever witnessed during their time in Washington D.C. Cabinet meetings are a fixture in D.C. and they typically start off with the president making a few remarks, and then some images get captured for the press reports. And that's it. The media leaves and the president conducts his meeting with his staff and cabinet. And then Trump did that. Wow. Yeah, I mean, if I were those cabinet members, of course, you, the problem is if you're asked to go to work for the president, one, you think you're going to be doing something for the good of the country and you're probably willing to make sacrifices and but you know you um, you have to you have to get a house there you have to move your family there you have to put your kids in school there you may have to buy a house you may have to lease a house or do something and then Trump's been in what office three months at something like that and it would be really uh, really difficult to, you know, you just leased a house, just moved your furniture, just had your kids change school, and then have the president be what, you know, to have to say, you know, fuck you, Mr. President, and anyway, I wanted to, what's, let's see, what's happening? I've uh, made some changes. I'm looking at my, I need to, I'm going to go back to the menu here. I'm looking. I can't take my eyes off of the R gang. Made some changes. I moved the Roku TV that was here. I really like having desk space to do to put things that I need to uh, work on or whatever. So I try to get as much desk space as I can. Then now the Roku TV is over here. And. Actually, I, then I, for a while, for a day or two, I had hooked up, of course, my Windows 10 computer. And then next to it, where the Roku TV is, I had an older computer and I had Linux on it. And I played with it for again for a day or two. And then I, let me move this camera here again. Sorry for putting my hand in front. This uh, Logitech gets hot. Uh, this is a Asus... Um, Chrome box with four gig of memory in it, and it's running, of course, the Chrome operating system. And uh, so I hooked it up again. 
Oops, this thing is. Oh, there we go. So, uh, and I can hit a switch, and I'm using this keyboard that I'm not crazy about, but it's a Logitech keyboard, and it uh, works with Bluetooth and the same uh, the matching mouse Logitech that works with Bluetooth, and like there's a button, you can just hit one, two, three. So my, and the same with the keyboard, there's buttons one, two, three, and so it's set up that I'm using one monitor, and button number one, when I press that, is the Windows 10 computer, and number two, I, when I hit those, it's I'm using the uh, Chromebox and the Chrome operating system, and it is so nice. You know, no delay, no, now I don't have, I've paid for a lot of programs that are on Windows 10 over here. Video editing, uh, screen capture, all those type of things. But I'm really enjoying Chrome, the Chrome browser in the Chrome box. And I'm going to, I think next month, uh, upgrade. You really probably don't need more than four. You can buy it with two gigabytes, the Chrome box. I have a Chrome book also, by the way, which I never use. I should. It's over there. I never really get around to using it. But I bought this with four gigabytes. But I'm going to upgrade it. I can do it for about 70 bucks or less. And I'm going to put eight gigabytes of memory into it and uh, play around with it some more. So, uh, well, it's 1 p.m. and I haven't taken my morning medication yet. And uh, I need to really fix some breakfast. I had some dip. Did I have any sweet? I had some cookies. I'm a diabetic. I had a chocolate cookie and then some butter cookies. I was doing uh, pretty well here, but when my ex-wife and my son moved, my grandson moved out, so for a few months I was uh, careful about what I, and they didn't have a lot of candy and whatever. Now, in order for us to uh, save some money, my ex-wife moved in and my grown son moved in and we're sharing the expenses. And, uh, but they love candy, cookies, and sweets and they're in there. And I just can't walk into the kitchen and pass up and then too, when they say, when they go to the grocery store or whatever, I, like in the beginning, I say, no, nah, I don't need, and then I'll say, well, get me, you know. So I have been doing worse. Um, anyway, I need to do some things and I'm gonna maybe watch the hearings. The last hearings I didn't watch, I watched the first few minutes same old stuff, and so probably the same with this, but my God, you don't know what is going to happen every day. Is <laughs> Every day is an adventure. You just don't know what's going to happen. So, thank you very much for watching.